Our next guest is uh, Peter Claggett, Chief Executive Officer from MyMeds. Uh, my quick research this morning told me that MyMeds take a very innovative approach to a patient adherence and medication scheduling. And I hope we'll know a lot more in the next five minutes. Perfect. Thank you very much. Is this one working up as well? Well, thank you. Appreciate it. So, again, my name is Pete Claggett. I'm CEO here at MyMeds. So, we're a digital health company focused on the problem of medication non-adherence. And we're utilizing what we call a digital plus human approach. Because we know that a simple application, web-based approach, thank you, doesn't solve the problem. We know that we need to have a care manager, someone who cares about the patient, involved in the process. So, we're addressing this problem utilizing technology, plus the human touch, and really to make sure that people understand why they're taking the medications, not just simply to remind them to take them, but make sure they understand why they're taking the medications to be successful with those medications. Problem is, people don't take the medications on a regular basis. Up to 50% of people don't take their medications regularly or appropriately. And that's a problem not only for the patients, clearly, but also for payers of health care. $300 billion a year is wasted because people don't take their medications appropriately. Diabetes, hypertension, hypercholesteremia, those three chronic diseases account for one-third of that bill every year. So now you talk about specialty medications like Sushil was just talking about, and you get an even larger figure. It's a huge issue, but it's a solvable issue. Why don't people take their medications? Really three main reasons. This data is from Express Scripts and indicates that 16% of people don't take their medications, one, because of cost. And we can all understand that. We've heard it in the news every day, probably feel it ourselves. We can try to address that. 15% don't take their, their medications because of clinical reasons. And primarily that's side effects, both real and perceived. Anybody who's read, who's read that prescribing information might be a little scared by those things that could happen in case they took them. So that's an educational opportunity. But the majority, 69% of the reason why people don't take their medications is behavioral. And what's that behavior? It's forgetting. Forgetting and procrastinating. So about 40% of people don't remember what their physician told them within the first half hour after they've left that physician's office. It's a bit of a blur. And so we need to help people understand why they're taking the medications to take care of that forgetting issue. So they're forgetting to refill, pardon me, to fill the medication initially, forgetting to take the medication, procrastinating to refill, et cetera. So, very addressable. So what's being done, to, done today? So, health plans and PBMs, if I don't refill my prescription by day 35 for that 30-day prescription, or day 95 for a mail order prescription, a letter, literally a snail mail letter, is mailed to my prescriber, who hopefully will read it, read it, and hopefully remember to talk to me the next time I come in his office. Time lagged and not very efficient. If I happen to be in a case management program, I might get a phone call from a case manager, one that I didn't ask for, but I'll get a phone call. And typically, the connect rates between those care managers and the actual patients is less than 30%. Sometimes it's because they don't have updated phone numbers, but sometimes it's just about a convenience issue. I might be having dinner and don't want to have that conversation. So I would say that both these things are both are expensive and inefficient. So there's got to be a, a different way. So what we do at MyMeds is we've made a better way to get people to take uh, control of the medications and understand how to use their medications, why they should be taking their medications, and when to use them, and how to manage those medications overall, utilizing digital technology that they can access very easily on the web and the mobile. So we've designed our platform to be very easy to use and simplistic. Innovative, I think simplicity is our innovation here. So with input from thousands of patients, hundreds of physicians and pharmacists, we've created this platform to make it easy so somebody can actually manage their medications the way they want to and when they want to. We also auto-populate the information into their platform for them so they don't have to go through the process of self-populating, which is not accurate nor uh, is it uh, convenient for them. We then connect that same data that, that comes from that patient's utilization to a clinical care team using our real-time clinical dashboard. So this data allows those clinical care teams that exist today in health plans, PBM, and especially pharmacies to intervene timely, effectively, and use that digital plus human approach with the patient. 
much more effective than not. So digital, auto population of data, digital, we use predictive and real-time analytics, and then we connect with the care team. So that comprehensive approach results in better results for those patients. I'll say, why are we doing this now? For the first time, the confluence of technology and industry trends are coming together that make this important to take advantage of. Thank you, I'll be in one more minute. Uh, so you've got clearly the, the drive for pay for value as evidenced by Medicare, which actually requires that medication adherence um, uh, statistics are measured and triple weighted. So they know that that's important. We've got obviously high cost of special pharmaceuticals, that's what Shield talked about, overall healthcare cost, and now the technology that's ubiquitous today in retail and banking is now being applied to here to healthcare. So it's for the first time we're able to do that. So the market is huge, big marketplace. The market is asking for a solution that's comprehensive, that is cost effective, that is patient focused, and one that works. And my message is a company that does that. So we actually demonstrated in our uh, data so far four to one ROIs or greater. So we know we can do that with our customers. So wrap up here, why I'm here is we're in the midst of our capital raise. We'd love to talk to you about what we're doing here. So thank you.